Hi guys, I'm Meg with Little Apple Pilates and we have some at-home booty workouts that you can do. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and you can follow along at home. Uh, the only thing that you're gonna need is your mat and your body. So um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna align the spine with the body. So we're gonna stack the shoulders, you're gonna stack your hips one on top of the other, you're gonna pull up on that bottom oblique and then we're gonna scoot those front legs forward. So we're gonna take the top foot, you're gonna flex it. I want you to send it back until you feel your glutes start to work. Try not to tilt your hips. And we're gonna go down and lift, down and lift. And we're gonna do everything in eights. Check your oblique, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then we're gonna point the toe and we're gonna draw circles from the hip, trying not to tilt for two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're gonna go back around for one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna take that top hand, you're gonna reach as far as you can. We're gonna bring knee to elbow and extend. Knee to elbow, extend. Good, up for three, exhale up. And five, six, seven, and eight, good. So then we're gonna take those knees up to the front. So they're gonna align with the front of the mat as your back aligns with the back. So you're in your, you're in your nice 90 degree angle. We're still lifting on that low oblique and the hips are still stacked. So the first thing we're gonna do is glue the heels together. We're gonna open up for clamp and then I want you to squeeze with your glute. So we'll come up and you're gonna squeeze with the glute. So keeping the core strong for three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then we're gonna pick the leg up, we're gonna mobilize a little bit. So we're gonna push down knee to knee, rotate heel to heel, knee to knee, heel to heel. Good for three, and four, a little bouncy. Five, six, seven, and eight, and then we'll bring it down. We're gonna flex both of the feet. We're gonna lift up. Same thing with clam. You're just gonna squeeze down. Imagine like you have an avocado in between your knees and you're squeezing out the seed. Good, for three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then we're gonna lift it up to about hip distance. You're gonna extend forward. Bring it back to hover. Extend, back to hover. For three, you'll start feeling it now if you haven't yet. Four, five, check your oblique. Six, seven, and eight. Then we're gonna hold it out here. You're gonna drop down and lift. Down and lift. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna take that heel, you're gonna drag it back until you feel it in your glute and then scoop it forward. Drag it back and scoop it forward. Good, this is three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, good, we're gonna take that straight leg. It's gonna come down to the side. We're gonna come up onto our knee. We're gonna take a little break with the glutes. We're gonna bring the arms up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna bring your arms down, keeping the space and strength that you had when you were reaching up. Drop the shoulders. We're gonna reach up and over, touch the floor and back up to your center. We're gonna reach up and over, back up.
back to your center. Good, we're gonna go down for three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, and then we're gonna take that hand, we're gonna drop it down, make sure that your body is in alignment here, so your hips aren't forward, or they're not back, and that your hand goes right under your shoulder. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flex the foot, we're gonna lift here and lower. Lifting from the glute and lowering for three and four. Nice long neck, open chest. Six, seven, and eight. We're gonna point the toe and we're gonna draw circles for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna go back around for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, then we're gonna touch forward. We're gonna come up to the middle and then back. And then you're gonna come middle, forward, middle, back. Try not to move your hips. Just moving the leg. Good, up for four. And five. Six. Seven. And eight, good. Last one, we're gonna take the arm up, extend the leg, we're gonna go knee to elbow, and extend. Knee to elbow, extend, good. Three, four. Exhale as you crunch in, six, seven, and eight. Awesome, we'll take it around. This is where I like to go into a child's pose. Stretch it out for a second. Good, and then we will um, do that on the other side. So I'll let you do that. You can play back the video, go to the other side. Um, and then last thing we're gonna do, since we did the gluteus medius, which is your side glute, we're gonna go into the maximus. So I'm gonna have you lay down. It's the best part in Pilates when you get to lay down. You'll take your, hit, your head towards your hands here. Deep breath in. We'll take the left foot. You're gonna flex it and you're gonna lift for one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll take a straight leg. So point through your toe. We're gonna lift and back down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good. And then we'll go to the other side. We're gonna flex that foot. We're gonna lift. This might be hard to do. It's hard to lift up from your glutes, but we're trying to keep both hip bones down, working on our hip strength. For six and seven and eight. And if you wanna get crazy, you can do little pulses for 16 counts for each thing. So you can go to the other side and do it. You can do it with a straight leg, whatever you'd like. But we're gonna go back to our straight leg and we're gonna lift and lower. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, great. So then we're gonna take the knees out, we're gonna take the heels together, and now we're gonna lift both at the same time. So we're gonna lift here and bring it back down. Up for two, and back down. For three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna pulse for one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two.
two, one. Good, drop it down. Grab your feet behind you. Take a deep breath. And then we'll just open up, stretch it out a little bit. You can rock back and forth if you'd like. This is called rocking horse. Because you kind of look like a rocking horse. Good, and then we'll lengthen out arms and legs. And we are done with our little booty exercise. Make sure that you go back and you go and do the other side.